finally I'm here that I made it. So good. To see. You see, you, you look good, I tell him. You look good. Juan Manuel Ballestero has just made the trip of a lifetime, traveling 9,000 kilometers solo across the Atlantic to see his father. Why did you decide to get into your small sailing boat and undertake this remarkable voyage across the Atlantic Ocean? It was a lot of people dying at a day time. So I, I was kind of nervous about that. Well, I, I really want to uh, get together with my parents, my father, my mother, and my family. And then I jump on my boat and I come home to see my father and my mother. Juan Manuel was living on the Portuguese island of Porto Santo and couldn't get a flight home to Argentina due to the coronavirus lockdown. Because I decided this in 24 hours, because I have to, before they really lock down the ports. I asked and it was okay to go out, but I cannot go back in. Juan hit the open seas on a voyage that was to last 85 days. And I believe because your boat is quite small that supplies were limited on board. You had tinned tuna, fruit, rice and plenty of wine. Well, I have some wine, yes. <laughs> and, and tunas and rice. The wine, I ran out of wine. You ran out of wine. How many days into the 85 days did you run out of the wine, Juan? The day 38 or okay. something. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Bueno, down the hatch. After passing the equator, Juan Manuel ran out of fuel and had to rely solely on wind. But for 10 days, the wind didn't blow. I went like 10 days in the flat, calm sea in the middle of the Atlantic and I, I lose all kind of power in the situation. The hull started to accumulate barnacles which would slow the boat down because of friction when it started to move again, forcing Juan Manuel to perform a very risky dive to remove them. So I'm in the middle of the ocean, in this 5,000 meters depth, and I have to jump out there to clean my boat. It was like, like the astronaut got out of the ship to fix the spacecraft. Like, uh, everything can go wrong down there. It was kind of tough. What helped you get through those tough days, Juan? On, on those tough days, uh, the faith. I believe more in God. You know, he just came to help me. It was the whole universe out there. The universe, you can see the universe uh, very easy there at that night. Yes, I started praying. There were some lighter moments as well. We're looking at this beautiful video now of dolphins that decided to swim along beside the boat. Yeah, the dolphins were all, they were a, a big company in this trip. I don't know why, they, they stick on me almost all the north, northern hemisphere sailing with a, by the boat. So it was fantastic, that company. After 85 days and 9,000 kilometers, Juan Manuel was reunited with his father, Carlos Alberto, in Buenos Aires, just in time for Father's Day. When you met your father on the shore there at Argentina, what did you say to him? What was the first thing you said to him? To my dad, finally I'm here, dad, I made it. So good, to see. you see, you look good, I tell him, you look good, but also that I, I think right, my plan was good, just to cross the ocean, to come home. So I wasn't wrong, I was right. And finally, Juan, I saw that you put up on social media a photograph at the end and you said, mission accomplished, faith lets you cross oceans. Everybody can do whatever they want, if you really want to. If you do it, maybe with the heart is better. Uh, believe in yourself, believe in God, it's really helpful. We don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do it all again, Juan? Yeah, definitely. <laughs>